Again, the says unto me, God spoke to the prophet Ezekiah, Ezekiel, and he says, the hand of the Lord was upon me. Ezekiah the prophet says, the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me in the spirit of the Lord. He carried me out in the spirit. And he says, and he sent me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said, he said unto me, Son of man, can his bones live? And I answer, O oh Lord God, you know it. Again, he says unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This man says, that God he brought into the valley. There were dead people, bones. And God says to him, speak to these bones. All bones, hearing the word of the Lord. We know the bones have no flesh. We know that the bones are those who are in the graves. The bones cannot hear in the word of God because the bones have no flesh, they have no ear. When these men spoke to these bones, all bones hear in the word of the Lord. Now, he says, then say, the Lord God unto these bones, behold, I will cause grief to enter into you, and you shall live. So God says, He will, He will cause grief to enter in these bones, and you shall live. And then He says, <laughs> and I will lie upon you, and I will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put bread in you. He says, I will make flesh upon you, and skin. This prophet He's talking about how God created man. Bones from the air. And God, he put skin upon his bones. If you look at yourself, your body has bones. Bones and skin. That's how God created man and woman. God created man the bones from the earth, but God created woman through the flesh of man, through the bones of man. So man was created from the earth, and woman.
which was made by through men, through his flesh, through his bones. You see, the difference, the difference between man and woman, a man was created by God from the ground, from the from the earth. Woman was created from inside of man. And that's why the Bible says that God is the head of Christ. Christ is the head of man. Man is the head of woman. And that's why the woman, she needs to submit herself to man, to humble herself, to be obedient to man. Because woman was created through man, and man was created from the earth. You see, speak. It is, it is big difference between man and woman. Big difference. And then he says, so. I prophesied as I was commanded, and I prophesied there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. So this prophet, he prophesied as God called him, all bones, rise, all bones. Hearing the word of God. And the Bible says that the bones, they rise. They came together one by one. And then it says, And when I beheld the home, the sinews of the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no brief in them. So the skin, the flesh, he covered the bones, but there was no brief in them. You see a man, when he died, they put him in a cemetery. The man is dead, but he no a brief. And then he says, Then say, He unto me prophesies unto the wind, prophesies, son of man. God says to these men, Prophesy to the wind, to the nature. Imagine a man speaking to the wind, to the nature. And he says, and say to the wind, this says the Lord God, come from the four winds, oh breathe, and breathe upon this slave, they may live. So God says, prophesy to the spirit, oh spirit. Oh, breath, come from the four winds, come from the south, come from the north, come from the east, east, come from the west, and breathe upon these bones that they shall live. So the man, he prophesied to the wind, he prophesied in command to the spirit of the Lord. Come and breathe upon this boat. And then he says, So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the brief came unto them, and they leave it and stood up upon their feet, an extending great army. So the man says, I prophesied as God told me, and the Spirit came and breathed upon his bones. Imagine relationship between man and God. Imagine when God gives our 
authority to men. And God says, men, you speak to the nature, you prophesy to the wind, speak to the spirit, to come and to breathe. A relationship between men and God. Because one man believed God. One man who prophesied as God told him. Many bones, they were covered with a skin, and many of them, they received life. You see how life begins. I prophesy over your life that the Spirit of God will come upon you and you shall live. You shall not die in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall live. You shall not die. The Bible says that he who is born by the Spirit walk by the Spirit. When the Spirit of God is in you, you move by the Spirit of God. You go where God tells you. Hallelujah. So my dear friend, Jesus says, the Spirit give life. The Spirit of God give life. He says, my words, what I speak, he says in John chapter 6, the Lord Jesus, I read for you, and look what Jesus says, Jesus says, my words, John chapter 6, verse 65, he says, Verse 63, it is the Spirit that gives life. I don't have a right to hate The words that I speak unto you, they are the Spirit and they are life. The words that these men spoke, it's called the prophet of God. This word is a spirit and his life. Every word that Jesus spoke through his lips give life. The Bible says, by his words, people were healed. By his words, who spoke from his lips, from his tongue, people received deliverance. People received life. The man was dead. The woman, she was dead. The little boy, he was dead. And Jesus spoke. Free. And the man received the brief of God. He received life. The dead resurrects. Why? Because Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came to speak life over you. He came give life. He says, I am the truth, the way, and the life. Jesus is life. His words speaking over your life gives you life. Hallelujah. And then he says, this man says, so I prophesied and he commanded as he commanded me. And the brief came upon them and they live and stood up on their feet an exceeding great army then he said unto me son of man these bones are the whole house of israel these bones are the whole house of israel and then he says behold they say our bones are dry, our hope is lost, we are cut off for our power. Therefore, prophesy and say unto them, This says the Lord God, Behold, O oh my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out, out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. So this prophet says, even when you die, he's going to prophesy. He says, all bones come out from your graves. I'll bring you to the land of Israel. Jesus Christ 
up that it is raised from the dead, the Bible says that the signs, the holy people, they resurrect from the dead. They went there into the temple, and the people who knew these guys are dead six years ago, they see him in the temple. Surprise! How can this possible? We know this man was dead six years ago. Look at him here now. Jesus Christ came to give life. And when Jesus resurrected, everyone was holy before God. Everyone who lived his life for God, he resurrected. If you live your life for God today and tomorrow, the day when you die, let me tell you something. God will resurrect you. Will resurrect you. And you will be in the house of the Lord forever. If you live your life in sin, if you don't live your life for God, you resurrect for judgment. And then, after you'll be judged by God, by Jesus Christ, because He's the one that God gives authority and power to judge the nations. The nations who crucify Jesus is Jesus Christ, the one who judge these nations, who will judge these people. If you don't live your life right with God and this earth today, when you die, it will be a day of judgment when Jesus Christ will come from heavenly kingdom in this planet. All of you, you resurrect. Those who have done good will resurrect for blessing, for life. Those who have done evil will resurrect for punishment, for judgment. So my dear friend, I believe what the Bible says. I believe every word Jesus spoke comes alive. Hallelujah. I saw a woman dying in Leicester Square four years ago. And God spoke to me. He says, go and pray for this one. The Spirit of God told me, go pray for her. She's going to die. I went there, I prayed for her. I prayed the name of Jesus to my God in heaven. When I prayed, I saw words of God come to my vision from the Bible. Jesus says, he who believes in me, he can do the same miracles as I have done. So Jesus gave me authority to prophesy over this then why you told me you come if you don't and I said to the woman wake up wake up and the woman she wake up it is God who give authority it is God's power God's grace showing to mankind it's God who show me his power you see my friend even you if you believe in Jesus if you pray to God for someone who is dead, for your friend, maybe he died five minutes ago, maybe he died one hour ago. If you pray to God and you believe Jesus Christ, believe his words, what he says, even you can speak to that bone, to that dead person, rise and leave. If you believe God, my friend, you'll prophesy. What you prophesy with your word will come to pass. Hallelujah. Let the Lord God give you His blessing upon your life. Let the Lord God give you His mercy, His grace, His great power. That you shall represent God. That you shall glorify God. Not to represent the devil. Not to represent guns and arms and drugs and alcohol and cigarettes. To represent God. The presence of God in your life. Hallelujah. God bless you. Let the Lord God bless you. Let me pray for you. What's your name? What's your name? Let me pray for you. Do you want God give you authority? Do you want God give you that word in your lips? That word you speak will come to pass. Word you speak to your family, to bless your family, will come to pass. Do you want that gift of God upon your life? That you shall speak a word to your family to be blessed. That word will come to pass. You have a child. You have children. And if you have children. When you speak to your children, do this. He's going to do it, as he said. Maybe yes, maybe no. If you obey God, your children will obey you. If you don't obey God, your children do not obey you. This man, you obey God. 
This prophet, you obey God. Jesus Christ, you obey God. And he says, I do what God wants me to do, what pleasures him. And that's why God answered me. That's why the Father is listening to me, because I do what pleasures him. So, if you do what God says, even your children are doing what you are saying. Because God made a child. If you, are, if you don't have connection with God, your generation don't have connection with you. That's why so many families are destroyed. That's why so many children are not educated. They don't want to obey their parents. You know why? Because their parents do not obey God. Their parents do not worship God. And that's why we can see today 2014, so many generations are lost, so many children are not educated, they, are, they behave evil, badly, it's because mankind has no relationship with God, it's because mankind do not pray to God, he do not worship God. When was the last time when you prayed to God? How old are you? Do you pray to God? Come closer. When was the last time when you prayed to God? I wish America When was the last time when you prayed to God? You never prayed to God because your parents never teach you. I tell you today, if you humble yourself and you pray to God for your life, that God to bless your life. If you pray, if you search for Him, are you married to Jesus? Heart, God, possible God, will heal in you. Are you married to Jesus? But remember, you look smart. Remember, God is not instrument to be used. He's not the instrument to be used. God is not the car to drive. God says, I have the book of Romans. He says. I have mercy, the one I want to have mercy. I forgive the one I want to forgive. So it's God's grace, it is not your power. It is God's mercy. So my dear friend, I will, my prayer for you is that God will find pleasure in you. When God will find pleasure you in you, in the, the Bible says, me. even your enemies, God will make them Why make peace with you. Why are you buying a three bottom suit? It's all. God, be one bottom. The Spirit of God will be upon you, that you shall live. Amen. That you shall live, you shall not die. When you pray to God, when you burn it in the floor, you pray to God in the name of Jesus. Why are you wearing white socks? The spirit of God, the breath of God will come upon you. When you pray to God, when I pray to God in the name of Jesus, the spirit of the Lord came upon me. I saw Jesus crucified. When? Oh, he saw Jesus. Because God says, He's smoking cannabis. God says to the prophet Joel, this is what he says. When, Joel, when, when and when? Chapter 2. When and when? Verse 28. He when says this. and when? And why are you sweating? I know, I know, but I know. And it shall come to pass the Holy Spirit. afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters Zizou. shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams. Zidane. It is God's promise for humanity. He says, after, after when? When people call the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord God bless you and go in peace. Pray in the name of Jesus and let the Lord God put his spirit upon you. Amen. Thank you.